What's up guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can add a lot of transaction towards layer zero airdrop by using gas.zip. Gas.zip is a refuel service, so that means you can send some funds from one chain to the other, but most of the time it is just to send a little bit of funds. But the good thing is you can hit a lot of chains at the same time. So first of all, once you are on the website, make sure to click on layer zero, because if not, it will not go towards layer zero. So click on it. Once you're here, you can obviously select the chain that you're going to be using. It can be base, it can be Arbitrum, whatever you like. So right now I am on base. I have 99 bucks and then I can send some funds to 38 different chains. Now, some of them are quite expensive and obviously depending on the amount that you're sending on these funds, it can be even more expensive. So for example, Arbitrum is kind of expensive. Avalanche is kind of expensive. Optimism, super expensive. So whenever I want to send some funds to some of these main, uh, main blockchains, what I would do is something um, use something like Jumper, OmniBTC, Sushi, Interport, PancakeSwap, because most of the time it is less expensive. But if what I want to use is something like BIM, um, Celo, Conflux, Cordao, usually it is pretty inexpensive. So here's an example. If I want to send 0 0.05 Celo, which is the maximum amount, it is just 12 cents. The layer zero fee is just eight cents. So again, super inexpensive. If I want to send some funds to Fuse, five cents. I can click on maximum, still six cents, nothing. Let's go ahead and check another one. Luth, pretty inexpensive, 0 0.05 cents, pretty inexpensive. Even if I add the maximum, just 14 cents, and I can even drop the amount. So again, main focus, if I want to add volume, I would use Jumper. Omni BTC, Sushi, Pancake Swap, Interport, just to add some funds on the main one. Then, if I want to add a transaction count, I would use something like um, Gas.zip. And then, if I want to add some diversification, I would use something like Holograph um, to bridge some NFT. What I did is I built a PDF. Um, it is completely free. There is a link in the description so you guys can download it. Um, I do have a lot of examples on what you can use, um, gas.zip, also how um, some of them, some of the prices from chain to chain, also some examples on the amount of transaction that you can take or the type of, the, of transactions. I have like 650 different transactions that you guys can take on gas.zip. Uh, pretty crazy, to be honest. Again, completely free. Just go ahead and check it out. Um, just type zero. If you want to add a tip, just add the amount. But if not, just type zero so you can download it. So let's go ahead and show you guys the process. So if I want to send some funds, let's say to Luth, BIM, Celo, Cordao, Conflux, Fuse, Genesis. Um, we also have the option for Zora. By the way, you guys know that we have been farming Zora and also Orderly, which is what I really, really like. Because if you have been taking some transaction by using Logex towards the airdrop for Orderly, um, it is a blockchain. So that means if you send some funds to orderly from orderly, you can basically bridge to many other chains. And obviously at the same time, you can farm orderly and layer zero at the same time. It is not that cheap to be honest, but I think it might be worth it just to play a little bit with it. So seven at the moment, let's go ahead and click on Viction because it is pretty cheap. And Clayton is inexpensive. Let's go ahead and also choose Astar. 10. There we go. So in total, just for the fees, I am at 96 cents. I'm going to add the maximum amount for each of them. So we can get the total. 5 beam. There we go. So in total, I'm going to be spending $1.61. Pretty inexpensive. Again, this is only counting towards transaction count. This will not add a lot of volume. So if we check on layer zero scan, you guys can see that I have 82 transactions. I'm going to just click on it confirm so you guys can double check with me that indeed we're adding 10 other transactions on layer zero one thing you need to know that if you're tracking your volume on nft copilot or using something um, like Wenser, your transaction will not show up on them and that is because they're not tracking the smart contract unfortunately um, but i'm pretty sure that it is working because obviously it is going through layer zero and if you go to the website it is actually on their ecosystem so here it is. You guys can see all the transactions showing up. So obviously it works. 
So there you go. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that can help you guys a little bit. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, any doubts. Thank you for watching. Happy farming, guys. Bye-bye.